Hi friends, good morning to everyone, welcome to my channel, Belagli's class, Belagli's class. My friends, we are doing with application of integrals to area under the curve. Application of integrals to area under the curve, area under the curve. Uh, taking into consideration geometrical figures like what parabola, circle, ellipse, I have done some examples already by taking two or three videos or two or three classes. Now in this class, in this class, I want to do examples based on area between two curves, area between, area between two curves or between curve and a line, between curve and a line, curve and a line. Yes, my friends, either it is between two curves, otherwise between two curves and a line. Yes, my friends, now uh, this is with between two curves. Equation of the first curve is y equal to fx, which is above in the figure. Uh, second equation is y equal to gx. It is equation to the second term in the figure. It is lower below curve. This is upper part of the reason, lower part of the curve. Uh, these are their point of intersections. This is A. This is B. They are their point of intersections. Uh, this is the ordinate, take this equal to A, second ordinate, take uh, equal to B. Now, uh, area between these two curves is the shaded area, area between two curves, required area, area between two curves is the shaded area. Uh, then what is this? We wanted only this shaded. This is the area under the curve, first curve y equal to fx with x-axis, y equal to fx, uh, with x-axis, between the ordinates, x equal to a, comma, x equal to b, minus, you have to take this, this total area minus this open area remains your shaded area, from above, from below, if you detect from this below, open space, in this, you remains what the shaded, which is the area between two curves. Uh, the same thing is written, shaded area. Area under the curve y equal to fx, comma x axis, between the ordinates x equal to a and x equal to b, minus this matter. Area under the curve y equal to gx, x axis, between the ordinates x equal to a and x equal to b. Yes, my friends, we have done this formula, this formula. What is this? Uh, this is the definite integral from a to d, fx dx, first curve, minus about gx. Uh, it is definite integral from a to b, second curve with gx, with respect to x. It is also with respect to x. Now we can simplify it. Uh, integral with the same limits, common. It is fx minus gx, integrate this with respect to x. Uh, what is this fx? y of the upper curve, this fx is y of the upper curve, gx y of the lower curve, then what is this between two areas, y of the upper curve minus y of the lower curve, that difference you must integrate with respect to x, that difference you have to, you have to integrate with respect to x. This is with x axis my friends, with x axis. Similarly, I have given this another one, what is this, it is with y axis, y axis, same. Uh, area between two curves. This is the upper curve, this is the lower curve. Uh, these are the lines between the lines y equal to c and y equal to d. y comes it is with y axis, x comes it is with x axis, my friends. Yes. So, similarly, area between the two curves y equal to fx? No. There y equal to fx. Here it is x equal to fy. x equal to fy and x equal to gy with y axis, 
between the lines y equal to c and y equal to d. Same explained everything. Uh, this is a definite integral from c to d, lower to upper c to d, x of upper curve, x of upper curve minus x of lower curve. This difference you must integrate with respect to y. y. These are area third area formula, my friends. Uh, what is that? Either area between two curves, otherwise area between curve and a line. Uh, first is with respect to x, second is with respect to y. With y axis, with x axis. With x axis, it is a definite integral. You have to integrate with respect to x. With y axis, you have to integrate with respect to y. Here, x of, of y of upper minus y of lower. With y axis, x of upper minus x of lower. Then I want to remind uh, one result from the straight line, another note. This is a result from the straight line done in QC. Equations of the lines, equations of the lines. You are very much aware of this. Huh? The equation y equal to mx plus c, y equal to mx plus c, uh, it is an equation to the straight line with slope m. m is slope, slope of the line. What is this c? This is y intercept of the line, y intercept of the line. If c is positive, line cuts above the x axis. Uh, if c is 0, if c is 0, if c is 0, then the line passes through the origin. Here there is no constant. If there is no constant, that line passes through the origin. If c is a negative, it comes below the x axis, it cuts, it cuts what? below the x-axis, below the x-axis, above c is positive, below c is a negative, through origin c is 0, c is 0, c is positive, c is 0, c is negative. My friends, uh, we get most of the time uh, an equation of a line which is free from or constant, then it is a line that passes through the origin. This is one result, my friends, from the result. Then, uh, based on these results, based on these results, I do some examples, my friends, some examples. All these examples, once again, they are important under 5 mark question, important under 5 mark question. Yes, my friends, first example, find the area between the two curves, actually they are not curved, it is a curve and a line, this is curve, this is line, yes x square equal to y represents a parabola x square means what it is a parabola that opens above the x axis and y equal to x there is no constant it is a line that passes through the origin passes through the origin in this case uh, we need what my friends uh, what is this these are the limits of integration these are the limits of integration in this case with x axis values of x with x axis, values of x, values of x are what? They are the limits of integration. Now with respect to y, with y axis, values of y, values of y are the limits of integration, limits of integration, lower limit, upper limit, like that. Now in this case, my, my friends, those limits are not given, then these points of intersections are not given. Anyway, for this you know, it is the origin means it's coordinates are 0, 0. Again, what is this A? E, A is the point of intersection of a parabola with line. We have to find the coordinates of this A point of intersection. To find the coordinates of the point of intersection of A, solve the equations, these two given equations. Y equal to x square, y equal to x. It is easy process, high school done. Put y equal to x in or y equal to x square into Put y equal to x square into, yes, y is x square, x square equal to x, bring this side, minus x, take x common, x into x minus 1 equal to 0, first value of x, 0, second value of x, uh, by taking, putting x minus 1 equal to 0, this is the second value, when x is 0, where you have to put here, when x is 0, y is 0, when x is 1, y is 1, therefore, the points of intersection are 0, 0, comma, 1, 1. Then, if you draw a perpendicular, perpendicular to x-axis, 
Then where is M? M means on x axis. What about its coordinates? The x coordinate of M is same as A, which is 1. As it is on x axis, its y coordinate is 0. Therefore, my friends, we are taking the area with x axis. We wanted the values of x. Values of x are what? Limits of integration. In this case, what are the limits of integration? x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. Yes, my friends. Uh, this is the method of finding the coordinates of the point of intersection. After finding the coordinates of the point of intersection, mentioning uh, these are the limits of integration. Therefore, required area, shaded area. This is y of the upper line minus y of the lower parabola, lower curve, lower parabola. What is y of upper line? y of upper line is y equal to x. Hmm? This is my y of the lower curve is y equal to x square. X square. Just to integrate and between the limit 0 to 1. Integral of x, x square by 2 minus integral of x square, x cube by 3. Lower, upper, lower, upper. Put x equal to 1, 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3, upper limit. Put x equal to 0, 0 minus 0 is 0. Simplify, this is 3 minus 2 upon LCM is 6. 1 by 6 square root, it says required area, my friend, the shaded area. Therefore, the required area is 1 by 6 square units. My friends, copy it. Huh? I give 1 minute time only. 1 minute. 1 minute. Yes, my friends. Next, find the area. Find the area. Area enclosed between the parabola. Enclosed between the parabola. y square equal to 4ax and the line the line y equal to mx my friends have taken general ah, it is an example in the miscellaneous exercise miscellaneous exercise example number 10 in that miscellaneous exercise ah, it is example number 10 in miscellaneous exercise example 10 so i have done here a particular case y equal to x what is the nature of the parabola which opens above but i have taken here what is the parabola y square equal to 4 ax what is the nature of this parabola it opens to the right one above one above another is opens to the right particular case this is the general case y equal to mx Yes, my friends. Yes, my friends. Right, one by one. Yes. First, first, my friends, the equation y square equal to 4ax represents a parabola. Represents a parabola. Opens, opens right of y axis. Right of y axis. Right of y axis. Then the line y equal to mx. Again, there is no constant. When there is no constant, it is a line that passes through the origin. Then to find the coordinates of the point of intersection. Yes, my friends. First, figure. It is a parabola.
Yes. 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 Now, this is the parabola that opens to the right. This is the parabola that opens to the right. Yes, this is x-axis. Ah, it is a parabola that opens to the right. That opens to the right. Then it is a line that passes through the origin. It is a line that passes through the origin. Then this is my friends x-axis. This is origin. Origin. This is y-axis. Uh, it is the parabola. Y square equal to 4ax. This is the line y equal to mx. This is their point of intersection A. Uh, from here, I draw a perpendicular uh, which cuts x axis at M. Then, this is your required area. This is your required area. Yes, my friends. Again, Y of the upper curve minus uh, Y of the lower line in this case, lower line. Yes. Solve the equations. First, uh, y square equal to 4ax and y equal to mx. Put y equal to mx in 1. This is 1 1 times. y square m square x square equal to 4ax. Bring this side m square x square minus 4 ax equal to 0. x is common. You have m square x minus 4 a e 0. Uh, either x is 0 or m square x minus 4 a 0. Get a value of x from this. x is minus 4 a plus uh, multiplication division. Therefore, this is x equal to 0, my friends. Uh, what is this? This is x equal to 4a upon m square. These are the limits of integration. These are the limits of integration. After finding this limits of integration, directly you start with required area. Required area. Uh, that is shaded area. Shaded area. Uh, what is it? It is integral. Lower limit is 0. Upper limit is 4a upon m square. Y of the upper. Y of the upper. Upper is parabola. Upper parabola minus y of the lower line. This you must integrate with respect to x. This you must integrate with respect to x. The rest part is my friends. Integration. Integration. Yes, put the values. Yes, my friends, uh, y of the, this is integral uh, 0 to 4a upon m square, uh, y of the upper parabola, parabola, what is y of the upper parabola, root 4ax, square root 4ax, minus 
minus a y of the lower line. What is y of the lower line is y is mx. Uh, this is my friend mx. This you must integrate with respect to x. With respect to x. Yes. Uh, equal to. This is square root of 4. Square root of a. Integral square root of x dx. Minus m integral x dx. Yes. Uh, once again my friend see we have done so many times. 2 into a to the power half integral <coughs> x to the power half dx minus m into integral x dx. Yes, it is 2 into a to the power half. Add 1. 1 by 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2. Reciprocal 2 by 3. Lower upper 4a upon m square minus m into integral of x x square by 2 lower upper lower upper simplify uh, my friend 2 into 2 4 by 3 a to the power half uh, this is x to the power 3 by 2 hmm, this is lower uh, this is this is 2 into k to the power half 2 into 2 is 4 by 3 2 into 2 4 by 3 to the power half this is x to the power 3 by 2 lower upper 4a upon m square minus m into m by 2 into this is x square uh, upper is 4m upon 4a upon 4a upon m square down each here uh, put x equal to upper 4 by 3 e square while substituting this 4 can written as 2 square 4. This is a. This is a upon m square. This to the power lower is limit. This is my friends. You are putting x equal to 4 a upon m square. 4 can written as 2. This to the power, this my friends, 3 by 2. Minus lower limit is here, x is here. Uh, minus m by 2. This is square 4 square 16. Otherwise, you write one line, my friends. 4a upon m square 4 square 4 square. Simplify. This is 4 by 3. a to the power 1 by 2. a to the power 1 by 2. 2 square, 2 cancels with 2, you are left with 2 to the power 3, a to the power 3 by 2, this my friends, a to the power 3 by 2, 2 cancels with 2, 2 to the power 3 left, what about the denominator, denominator, square down, cancels, m cube, minus, uh, this is, m by 2 into 4 square a square m to the m square square m to the power 4 further uh, 2 to the power 3 is 8 8 into 4 32 8 32 upon 3 a to the power half a to the power 3 by 2 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2. I do here, my friends. This is 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 is 4 by 2. What is 4 by 2? Is 2. I have written direct. Hmm? Down is m cube. m cube minus 1. m is cancelled. And 2 cancels with 16. 8. You are left there. 
8a square upon 1m is cancelled. Yeah, Q. Yeah, Q. Take my friends, here 8 a square upon m cube, a square is common, upon m cube is common, 8 is common, this is 8, 8 square upon m cube. When you take 8 count outside, in 32, after taking 8 you are left with 4, denominator is 3, this is minus 1 minus 1, which is 8 a square upon m cube. 4 by p minus 1 is 1 by 3. Therefore, my friends, it is 8 a square upon 3 m cube is the required area. So, required area is 8 a square upon 3 m cube. 8 a square upon 3 m cube square units. If you want, I can write it once again there. Therefore, required area. Is 8 a square upon 3 m cube square units. 3 m cube square units. One minute, my friends. Copy it. I will explain. Once again, I will explain once again. Once again, these are good examples under five mark questions, my friends. Five mark questions. Yes, friends, uh, this is, find the area enclosed between the parabola y square equal to 4 ax and the line y equal to mx. This is the parabola that opens to the right of y axis. It is the line that passes through the origin. My friends, this is the figure. To find the coordinates of point of intersection, solve the equations of parabola and line. Solve the equations. Put y equal to mx in the line in one, in one, you get this. Bring this side, minus, x is common, you are left, m square x minus 4a equal to 0. Either x is 0, otherwise bracket is 0. With this, you get, you are solving for x, minus becomes plus, into becomes division. So, the value of x are, one is 0, another is x equal to 4a upon m square. These two are nothing but, uh, my friends, limits of integration x equal to 0, x equal to 4a upon m square, limits of integration. After finding those limits of integration, required area is shaded. Figure itself says definite integral from 0 to this 4a upon m square, uh, y of the upper parabola minus y of the lower line, lower line, this my friends. What is y of the upper parabola? Y root, I have to take square root, y of the lower line is what, y equal to mx, rest part is integration, rest part is integration, 2, square root of 4 is 2, root a, root x, integration with respect to x, m is out, integral of x, half, you know the integral of x to the power half, add 1, divide by the same, add 1, divide by the same, lower, upper, Put x equal to upper limit. This is a little bit simplifications, my friends. You must have patience here. Patience. Do little slowly. Do little slowly. This is 4 by 3. 4 can be written as 2 square a. Down is m square. Power is 3 by 2. Lower limit is 0. Minus m by 2 in. What is the value of x? 4a upon m square. What is the power of x is 2? 
Uh, then lower limit is 0, my friends. Lower. 4 by 3 to the power half. 2 square to the power 3 by 2. 2 cancels left. 2 to the power 3. A to the power 3 by 2. Down. M square to the power 3 by 2. Square. Down is 2. You are left with M cube. Minus m by 2 into 16 a square upon m to the power 4 cut one m is also cut here yeah? remains here 3 3 4 into 8 32 upon 3 ah, 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 simplified there 4 by 2 is 2 down is m cube minus cancel 8 a square upon m cube this 8 a square upon m cube is common 4 by 3 minus 1 4 by 3 minus 1 is 1 by 3. 4 minus 3, 1. 1 by 3. It is 8 a square upon 3 m cube will be the required area, my friends. Required. Area. The same uh, instead of 4 ax, 4 ax, you take it as what? 4x. Uh, instead of mx, you take it as 2x. It is also there in the miscellaneous exercise, my friends. I think uh, it is example number 10, it may be example number 9 in the book, miscellaneous exercise, example number 9, 9, maybe, there, huh? the side of this example. Yes, my friends, it is a big example and good example, a good example. Next, my friends, next, my friends, find the area. Yes, friends, friends, yes, find the area bounded by the curve. by the curve curve x square equal to 4y and the line and the line x equal to 4y minus 2 it is a line other than passing through the origin, other than passing through the origin, yes, my friends, first, uh, x square, x square means open sum of, parabola open sum of, open about the x axis, this is a line, this is a line, Yes, my friend. Hmm. What is it? This is uh, x equal to 4y minus 2, which is x plus 2 equal to 4y. Substitute this value here in 1. Yes, uh, to find the point of intersection, to find the point of intersection, put what? 4y equal to x plus 2 in x square equal to 4y. Yes. Uh, this is 4y is x plus 2. Therefore, it becomes what? x square equal to x plus 2. Solve it. x square minus x minus 2 is 0. What are the factors, my friends? Minus. Uh, it is x minus 2. Into x plus 1 is 0. Factorization. x square minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 minus 2 into plus 1 is minus 2 
from this, my friends, you get x equal to 2 and this value x equal to minus 1. These are your limits of integration, my friends. So, the parabola cuts at one point where its x coordinate is negative, another is positive. Therefore, and this is the nature of the parabola. Parabola opens above. Parabola opens above. Yes. This is the line. This is the line that cuts, my friends. This is a uh, origin. This is origin x equal to minus one. This point is x equal to two, my friends. X equal to two. This is your shaded area. This is your shaded area. You take this point as A, uh, this point as B. What is this? Uh, it is x square equal to 4y. Uh, what is this? It is 4y equal to x plus 2. 4y equal to x plus 2. Yes, my friends. These are, these are limits of integration. Uh, if you put x equal to 1, when x is 2, you get my friend y here. x is 2, x is 2. Ah, what is this? 2 plus 2, 4. 4y four equal to 4 means y is 1. Next, when x is minus 1, what is y? Ah, x is minus 1. Minus 1 plus 2. Minus 1 plus 2 is 1. So the value of y is 1 by 4. Therefore, points of intersection intersection are one is 2 comma minus no it is minus 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 by 4 next is 2 comma 1 these are points of intersection and these are limits of integration x is minus 1 to x is minus therefore required area required area Yes, friends, one minute, this is also important. Yes, friend, required area. Shaded area. Shaded area. Uh, this is integral. Lower limit is minus 1, upper limit is 2. Y of the upper, no, not Y. Yeah, yes, it is with x axis only. x axis means y of the upper line. y of upper line. minus y of lower parabola. This you must integrate with respect to x. Integrate with respect to x. Yes, my friend, so for the value. Therefore, required area equal to uh, integral minus 1 to 2 minus 1 to 2, tell mm -hmm. uh, what is y of the upper line, 4y is x plus 2, then what is y, 1 by 4 into x plus 2, 1 by 4 into x plus 2, minus 
uh, y of the lower parabola. What is y of the lower parabola? x square equal to 4 y. What is y? x square upon 4. y is x square upon 4. x square upon 4. This you must integrate with respect to x. Integrate with respect to x. Yes, my friends, this is 1 by 4 integral minus 1 to 2. I take piece, piece first line 2x minus 1 by 4 into integral x square dx. It is to the curve. Write the integrals and simplify. Yes. Yes, my friends, this is 1 by 4 into integral of x, x square by 2 plus 2, integral is 2x, this is lower, this is upper, minus 1 by 4 into integral of x squared, x cube by 3, this is lower, this is upper, upper, put x equal to upper limit, this is 1 by 4 into upper limit, 2 square, 4 by 2, plus 2 into 2, 4, 2 into 2, 4, minus, put x equal to minus 1, minus 1 whole square, 2 into minus 1, minus 2. This is first integral, my friends. Uh, minus 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 is 1 by 12, put x equal to 2, cube, uh, 2 cube is 8, minus 1 whole cube is minus 1. Here, uh, sometimes we do the mistake. x cube, 2 to the power 3, 8. Minus 1 to the power 3, power is odd. Negative to the odd power is minus 1. This is upper minus lower. Lower is minus 1. Simplify this, my friends. 1 by 4, 2 plus 4. Two plus four minus minus one by two minus three by two means it is minus three by two. Oh, understood. One by two minus two means minus four plus one minus three minus one by twelve into this is eight minus of minus is plus one, which is one by four into. 6 minus of minus plus 3 by 2 minus 1 by 12 into this is 9 simplifying 1 by 4 into it is 15 by 2 12 plus 3 uh, minus 9 by 12 9 by 12 you can simplify 3 by 4 3 by 4 you can take what otherwise LCM LCM is 8 8. This is 15 here minus 4, 2, 6 it is. 6 it is. So it is 9 by 8. Therefore, my friends, it is required area equal to 9 by 8 square units. I give one minute, my friends. Copy it. I will explain once again. I will explain once again. Yes, my friends. Find the area bounded by the curve. Curve is parabola which opens above. And it is a line. It is not passes through the origin. No. It is not passes through the origin. Yes. Parabola opens above. Take this side. X plus 2 is 4y. 4y. 4y is x plus 2. Put 4y equal to x plus 2 in equation 1. Otherwise, it is x squared equal to 4y. 
this x square equal to 4y which is x plus 2 x plus 2 quadratic factors values of x when x is 2 y is 1 when x is minus 1 y is 1 by 4 yes find them these are point spent sections figure my friends then uh, the x coordinates of the points of intersection one is negative one other is positive this is minus one this side plus two this side it's a line four y equal to this it is the parabola which opens above figure then this is your shaded area shaded area is what shaded area is required area y of the upper line minus y of the lower parabola lower parabola yes Required area, uh, it is y of the upper line minus y of the lower parabola. Yes, 1 by 4 into x plus 2, 1 by 4 into x square, integral of x, x square by 2, integral of 2, 2x, lower, upper, minus 1 by 4, integral of x square is x square by 3, lower, upper. My friends, 1 by 4 into, put x equal to upper. 2 square 4 by 2 plus 2 into 2 plus 4 minus lower minus 1 whole square is 1 1 by 2 plus 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 second uh, 4 into 3 is 12 2 cube 8 minus minus 1 cube minus 1 in such cases my friends better to write one step more uh, writing one step more always it avoids what mistakes my friends especially in mathematics Writing in detail always avoid swap mistakes. Simplify it. 2 plus 4 minus 3 by 2 minus 1 by 12 minus of minus plus 1. 6 minus of minus plus 3 by 2. 1 by 12 into 9. 12 plus 3, 15 by 2 minus 9. Uh, 3 by 4. LCM is 8. 4 into 2, 4. 8. This is 15, 15, 4 means 2 you get, 2 into 3 is 6, 15 minus 6 is 9 by 8, therefore required area is 9 by 8 square centimeters, square centimeters. These are, I have done 3 examples my friends, curve and a line, curve and a line, that I do some 2 or 3 examples between 2 curves two curves mainly between two parabolas two parabolas yes my friends uh, so the next example is next example is find the area of the reason find the area of the reason bounded by the two parabolas area of the reason bounded by the two parabolas Yes, friends. Yes, bounded by two parabolas. Two parabolas. Y equal to x square. And y square equal to x. Y square equal to x. Tell friend, this is first y equal to x square is what? x square equal to y. Parabola opens above. 
parabola opens above. Ah, that's understood, my friends, above the x-axis. Then y square equal to x. Ah, it is the parabola opens right of y-axis. This is above the x-axis, right of y-axis. Then first we have to find the point of intersections. To find the point of intersections, point of intersection, I write like this, my friends. Intersection, solve the equations. Solve the equations, uh, x square equal to y and y square equal to x. Uh, name this as 1, this is 2. Yes, my friends. Uh, put what? y equal to put y equal to x square in equation 2. In y equal to x square. x square the whole square equal to x, which is x to the power 4 minus x is 0. x is common x cube minus 1 is 0. Therefore, either x is 0, another is what? x is 1. And what about the values of y? Huh? y equal to x squared. When x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 1. Huh? So, when x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 1. Therefore, points of intersection, intersection are 1 is 0, 0, origin. What is another? 1, 1. Then you have to draw the figure. Draw the figure. Yes, friends. Yes. One parabola opens above. Another parabola opens right. Opens right. Yes, friends. X axis, Y axis. One parabola opens above. This is the parabola opens above. Ah, that is another parabola that opens right. That opens right of y-axis. Right of y-axis. Ah, my friends, this is origin. This is x-axis, this is y-axis, this is one parabola, right means y square equal to x, and this is up, x square equal to y. This is their point of intersection, A, yes my friends, A, ah, this is x equal to 1, what is this my friend, this is x equal to 0, this is your required area. Area. Yes, what is the required area? Shaded area. Y of the upper parabola minus Y of the lower parabola. Yes, required area. Equal to integral from 0 to 1. Y of upper upper parabola minus y of lower parabola. This you must integrate with respect to x. Put the values, put the values. Huh? I write here, my friends. Therefore, a required area. 
very quietly. Yes, integral from 0 to 1. What is y of the upper? y square is x. What is y? Root x. Minus uh, y of the lower. x square equal to y means y is x square. This is x square. This you must integrate with respect to x. Yes, friends, equal to integral 0 to 1 x to the power half dx minus integral uh, 0 to 1 x square dx. Half means, you know, it is a close friend now. Add 1, 3 by 2, reciprocal 2 by 3. Lower, upper, minus integration x cube by 3. Lower, upper. Yes. Uh, this is 2 by 3 into it. Put x equal to upper, minus lower. Uh, minus 1 by 3 into it. Put x equal to upper, minus lower. Equal to, this is 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3, 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3 is what? 1 by 3 square units. Therefore, my friends, uh, required area equal to the decided area. Area equal to this is 1 by 3 square units. 1 by 3 square units. Square units. All these examples, my friends, and they are very good examples under five mark questions. Five mark questions. Yes, my friends, and these are four or five examples. Uh, enough. Uh, in the next video, based on two curves, I may do under uh, three, four examples on this, my friends. Uh, in the next video, next video, I do it. Till then, my friends, prepare them nicely. They are all good examples under five mark. As I said in the beginning, according to their question paper pattern, one example under 5 mark question, one example under 3 mark question. First two videos I have done almost, they are all examples under 3 mark. And third and this is fourth, these are examples under 5 mark questions. Till 5 mark examples are there, my friends, huh? I will do. Yes, till then, my friends, huh? thank you very much thank you bye goodbye namaste namaskar namaste my friends enjoy good day good day bye.